Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. I'm at Target again. Another Target video, I know. But today we're gonna go in and see what new products they have. This is a what's vegan video, not what's good for you, what's healthy for you. We're just looking for vegan products at Target so you guys know what Target carries. So in my Target, hopefully a lot of Targets are pretty much the same. There are super Targets that carry um, more stuff. I don't have a super Target near me. So this is just a regular Target. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna go in the food section and see what they carry. So let's go. So the first thing I wanna point out is they came up with this new signage here where they have vegan, gluten-free, fair trade, and they assign it to different products. Not everything has it, I noticed, but it's a start. I found these snacks, mangoes and apricots by the company Made in Nature, which I have posted before on my Instagram account, two for $8, so it's nice to see them here at Target. And Bob's Red Mill flaxseed. Always have a bag of this in my freezer for my smoothies. And this right here is the egg replacer that I've been using, which was hard to find. I used to get it at Wegmans, but then they stopped carrying it. So I highly recommend this egg replacer. It's gluten-free and vegan. It doesn't say the V next to it, but the flaxseed does. But they're both vegan, so nothing to worry about there. Here we have Lara Bars, two for 10. And then they also carry some vegan chocolate. Uh, this is a brand Endangered Species, and it is a darker chocolate, so it's more rich, but it does say certified vegan on the back, so rest assured. And this one's an 88% chocolate, and also vegan, three for eight dollars. Now Bark Thins have a few flavors that have nothing in them that come from animals, although the sugar is processed through bone char, so if you're okay with that, that's an option for you. Uh, personally, I like to stay away from sugar that is processed through bone char. Here we have Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. They have blueberry original fig and apple cinnamon. These are all vegan, two for $5. And you can pause that to read the ingredients and the nutrition facts. And here we go, vegan, dairy-free, kosher. Boom, Chicka Pop is a vegan popcorn. We have sweet and salty kettle corn and sea salt popcorn. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, it is vegan, and no high fructose corn syrup. And they're two for $6. And if you're looking to improve your snack game and you like peanut butter and pretzels, these are peanut butter filled pretzels. And this is a big bin. It's about eight bucks, $7.91. Now here's all the vegan cereals. These are by Nature's Path. And these are supposed to be a kid's cereal, but hey, if you're a fun adult, you can enjoy them as well. And I like that they say vegan right on the package. They are organic. These are the Cheetah Chomps. I prefer the Leapin' Lemurs myself. They also have a variety of different vegan milks. We've got the soy milk, the almond milk, the rice milk, and then their own brand, Simply Balanced. And this is only $1.61, so that's a really good price. I like to snack on walnuts and I'm gonna do a recipe with these, so I'm picking these up. And I've talked about bonza before. This is pasta made from chickpeas, so it's vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Here are Campbell's Well Yes Soup. Now they have a bunch of these. Some of them are vegetarian, which aren't vegan, but some of them are vegan, so just make sure it says vegan on it. They're about $2 a can, so you could probably make your own for a lot cheaper. But if you don't cook and you're in a hurry, that could be an option for you. Target even carries Annie's Organic Vegan Mac and Cheese. This is a cheddar flavor for $3. To me, this tastes a lot like what I remember Kraft Macaroni and Cheese tasting like. It's pretty good, but it's not my favorite. But you can always doctor it up a little with some more vegan cheese. And here we have Vegan Hellman's Mayo. This is one of those cases of... If you can't beat them, join them. So they made a vegan mayo. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of this with companies making vegan products. So it's $4 for this. Now we have Dave's Killer Bread. Most of his bread is vegan and it's really good. It's a little bit pricey. They use all organic ingredients and uh, it's $6 a, a loaf though. And this is the only place I can find it near where I live is in Target. haagen -Dazs has this Spirits Amaretto vegan ice cream. I have contacted the company and the sugar is not processed through bone char. 
And now we have the new Archer Farms. This is the Target brand of non-dairy vegan ice cream. I have not tried this yet, so let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and how it is. And of course, I spotted the Oatly. I'm always happy when I see Oatly being sold someplace that's close to me. So Oatly, yes, thumbs up. And they also have your silk and uh, more silk and uh, more silk. Lots of silk. And the Ripple and the Calipia. I also found some new products by Sweet Earth, the Benevolent Bacon, the Harmless Ham, the Mediterranean Santa Fe, and Teriyaki Burgers. Have not tried those, but I like that they all say vegan right there on the package. Cauliflower Mac and Cheese. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this before. It looks really good, but I've heard mixed reviews on it. We're not done yet. We have General So's Tofu which was really good. I did try that. The Kyoto Stir Fry, also really good. And the Pad Thai, which wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, but still okay. We're still going here. We have the Korean Bowl and the Curry Tiger. That's right, the Curry Tiger. You eat this, you will be able to jump as high as a tiger. Well, not really, but... Gardein now has bowls. The Teriyaki Chicken. The Orange Beefless Bowl. And the chicken fajita bowl. So that's pretty cool. New products. Kashi has the chimchurri quinoa bowl. They also have the Mayan harvest bake bowl, which I ate tonight and it was pretty good. Sweet potato quinoa bowl. And the creamy cashew noodle bowl. For those of you interested, these are the nutrition facts and some of the ingredients on the sweet potato quinoa bowl. Amy's also has a bunch of vegan things like this Asian dumpling bowl, their rice mac and cheese, which now they use the Daya cheese. I used to get these a while ago and they were pretty good. I don't know if I had it with the Daya cheese though. And of course, Morningstar is rolling out to make all of their products vegan by the year 2021. So they have a lot of new vegan products and they are labeling it with the V right on the front of the package for everyone to see right there. Um, these chicken nuggets are pretty good. They have the buffalo original and barbecue. And they also have these chicken strips and the crumbles. You can make tacos with those. And then the Beyond Meat, of course, has their beefless crumbles. And back to Gardein with their skillet meals. I have not tried their skillet meals yet, but I hear they're pretty good. Gardein has a ton of products and everything is vegan. Uh, avocados these are the cheapest i've seen them around me in a while because normally they're like two dollars per i just want to point this out these are limes and they are coated in beeswax a lot of the citrus is these days so just be careful kite hill this is a new product it's a wild berry yogurt i have not tried this before so if you guys try to let me know in the comments and it's awesome seeing my friend miyoko's butter in target so this is a vegan butter it's really good. She is known for making some of the best vegan cheeses as well. And of course, we got tofu, some field roast, sausages, and some Upton's chorizo seitan. We have some tofurkey deli slices, great for making sandwiches with. And it's also nice to see hodo soy in Target. This is the best tofu in my opinion. It's my favorite tofu. If I find it somewhere, I pick it up. This is a Moroccan cube tofu. These guys make the sofrita tofu for Chipotle. And Light Life has smart dogs, which have been around for years, and they're pretty good. This is Chameleon Cold Brew Oat Milk. I don't do coffee, so I've never had this. But if you guys are into it, it's here at Target. The ingredients show that there's sugar in here, but it's organic sugar, so you're safe from sugar that's processed through bone char. But $6.49, that seems kind of expensive. And here we have Monk Pack protein cookies. These are the double dark chocolate. Here are the ingredients, and here's what's not in it. And Lenny and Larry make complete cookies. These are vegan cookies, and these are new. These are the bite size chocolate chip cookies. And these have 20 grams of protein in it. They're known for being protein cookies. And they have two flavors, the chocolate chip and the double chocolate. Have not tried either one of them. All right, guys, so there, you saw it. 
with your own eyes, Target has a bunch of new vegan products. Um, some of the things I've never even seen before, I didn't even know existed, like some of those, uh, the Gardein bowls and stuff, I haven't seen those before. And the Kashi ones, and even like that harmless ham, never heard of that before. And I made it out just in time, as you see over here, the full moon is right there and it's a really nice night so that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it don't forget to give me the thumbs up subscribe survive watch out for zombies let me know where you want to see me go next if it's near where i live and i can get there i'll do it if not i'll have to wait until i travel to that area otherwise take care see you guys later